What the ultimate goal for your season is, pretty much the kids and, and what um, what you're out here working towards, and that's Special Olympics and Unified Athletes. We were just so excited because we knew this was in development, and then we saw it happen last year uh, as a school uh, that really prides himself in a lot of inclusive activities. When the idea came out and we saw the other flag football teams that were playing, it was kind of a no-brainer. I made a point over the summer saying we're going to have a team and uh, let's have fun with it. So we, we jumped on it from the get-go of making sure band and cheerleader were at the first game and things just took off from there. It has literally been like the best thing ever for McCain. The whole school's involved. Welcome to the 2016 Unified Pepperoni. So for Unified Sports, it, for our athletes, it's a true sports experience. And more importantly, I think for both athletes with and without disabilities, they become leaders, not only on their team, but within their school, creating those bridges of acceptance for all. Unified Sports meets all the requirements to consider it a sport. Established rules, working with an approved officials association, conducting rules clinics for coaches and officials. We looked at this as an opportunity for these athletes to be real athletes and, and not treated any different. I'm just so happy for the partnership with the DIAA and Special Olympics and so happy that Hannah is representing Newark Charter and the high school community. I think she's trained just as hard as anybody else and, and she's wanted to win and she's been competitive and she's loved it every minute of it. Five, four, three, two, one! We! One, two, three, unify! Four, five, six, McKay! I think it's great when each player on the team holds the other player accountable. And when you have a team, the dynamic is all for one, one for all. I brought that same mindset with unified football. Uh, coaching them, I let them know what you do in the classroom reflects us on the field as well. So we have to conduct ourselves accordingly when we're wearing the jersey and we're not wearing the jersey because people know you play unified and they, they respect that and they support you. So we can't let people down, we have to hold ourselves accountable. The expectation is truly the same for all sports, unified or not. The DIA and all our member schools are very proud of our partnership with the Special Olympics and we're happy to welcome them as a state championship sport. I'm dreaming wide awake This is the life I make I don't need a holiday To make me feel this way Listen up, take a chance, you can sing, you can dance You can live like there's no tomorrow Every time that you'll find there's a rule, there's a rhyme, move along and the rest will follow. We shine, we shine like stars. We 
different in that it's brought Hannah together with the school community and it's exposed Special Olympics to um, the school population and has really unified her with the school and she's happy to represent the school. Again these athletes are, are no different than anybody else and it's wonderful to see the schools embrace that and the, and the athletes be able to be a part of that. Really the relationships that the kids fostered from the beginning of the year to the end are uh, the strongest they've ever been so I'm very excited about that. It's been tremendous to see the relationships go beyond just the, the field and that's what you want that's what you're striving to do is to create bonds and relationships that go beyond uh, the normal daily activities